welcome to Nick's Defense Channel. If you like our videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Now let's have a look at India's new fighter jet in development. Tejas Mark II The HAL Tejas Mark II, or medium-weight fighter, is a planned single-engine, delta-wing, multi-rolly fighter designed by the Aeronautical Development Agency in collaboration with Aircraft Research and Design Center of Hindustan Aeronautics Limited for the Indian Air Force. It is a further development of the HAL Tejas, or light combat aircraft, program which began in the 1980s to replace India's aging MiG-21 fighters. The Tejas Mark II is being designed to replace multiple strike fighters like the Jaguar, Dassault Mirage 2000 and MiG-29 that the Indian Air Force currently operates. It has a tail-less compound delta wing configuration with a single vertical stabilizer with close coupled canards to provide static instability, high maneuverability, and is equipped with fly-by-wire systems to control instability. There is confirmation from the Chief of Aeronautical Development Agency that MWF will shed its Teja stamp and get a completely new name altogether during or after its first flight. The first prototype is expected to be rolled out in August 2022 with first flight in 2023. Managing Director of Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, Armadavan said the structural package and other work on the Tejas Mark II is progressing well and its production is likely to start somewhere around 2025. He said the upgraded version will have a bigger fuselage, longer range, better maintainability, greater load carrying capability, much stronger engine power, and superior net-centric warfare systems. With increase in range and payload capability, Mr. Madovan said the new variant will be much superior than Tejas Mark 1A, 73 of which are being procured by the Indian Air Force from the HAL under a 48,000 rupees crore deal that was approved by the government on January 13, 2021. Other than design commonalities, very little major technologies has been forwarded from its predecessor Tejas Mark 1A. Instead, more of its technologies are to be borrowed from whatever has been developed for the fifth generation fighter jet program of India. AMCA, several radar cross-section reducing measures will be incorporated in the airframe design so that a degree of frontal stealth can be achieved, including radar absorbent material coating and composites making up its skin twisted air intake ducts. In October 2010, General Electric F-414 was selected as engine for Tejas Mark II. The final contract for 99 aero engines worth $822 million was signed in late 2012 or early 2013, with an option for 49 more that could be exercised later. As per the agreement, eight engines will be bought off the shelf, while other 91 will be built in India under transfer of technology. The F-414 GE INS-6 has dry thrust of 58 kN and 98 kN of wet thrust. F-414 GE INS-6 features a full-authority digital electronic control system. The aircraft is designed keeping in mind that GE's F-414 will be replaced once Indian power plant is available. Therefore, the future engine replacement should make minimum changes in the configuration.
The aircraft will be equipped with a multi-sensor data fusion system which will feature an active electronically scanned array radar, infrared search, and track, and a missile approach warning system. It will also feature an internalized integrated electronic warfare suite. The aircraft will be designed to have network-centric warfare capacity. ADA is planning to integrate Utama ESA radar on Tejas Mark II in collaboration with Electronics and Radar Development Establishment. Indian variant of Rafales are to sport Thales X Guard Fiber Optic Toad Decoy System and Traffic Collision Avoidance System, which may be carried over to the MWF. Medium weight fighter's cockpit is to have a next generation wide area multifunction display and side mounted control stick. The aircraft is planned to be equipped with an artificial intelligence based optimally manned cockpit. The cockpit will be designed such that the ground control would be able to take over the controls of the aircraft in case the pilot becomes unconscious after being alerted by a sensor in the helmet of the pilot. So, what do you think the name of India's new fighter aircraft should be? Let us know your suggestions by leaving a comment. Come up with some creative ideas for the new pride of India. Thank you for watching Nick's Defense Channel. Please don't forget to like and hit the subscribe button located right under this video. If you want to be notified of our new uploads, click the bell button to activate your notifications. See you in our next video.